Hello and welcome to Soul Spy University, now broadcasting from a new location where we've survived hurricanes and stitches. Anyway, aliens, we have a lot to cover from Luis Elizondo's new book, Imminent, to new, the new James Fox documentary, The Program, to the newest revelation on just how they got away with legally hiding everything this entire time, a David Grush update, and where Congress stands now may surprise you. Welcome to Soul Spy University, your conversational and summary center for consciousness expanding information. Today's show is sure to sum up all the key points of the latest groundbreaking information on the UFO UAP debacle, debacle. But first, please don't forget to support our groundbreaking content by liking, subscribe to become a part of our consciousness expanding and sharing community, and share to try to keep us afloat. If anyone ever feels called to donate, it would mean so much to my heart to know that someone somewhere is listening. Also in the same box, and lastly, as the donation link, it's a list of divine healing and fun services I'm available for that I would love to improve anyone's life with. Okay, so I'm going to start, Tommy, with how they got away with it, and then we'll have a conversation about that, and then we'll go from topic to topic. You ready? Of course. Yeah, of course. Okay, just how did they get away with this? Recently, there's been a written report shared with Congress from a new whistleblower and the Pentagon has allegedly illegally been hiding more than a lot from Congress. Yeah, we kind of already knew that. But just yeah. how were they able to do this? Well, they know the legal system very well. In order to get anything unveiled legally, you'd have to know the exact terms to say. And they're the parent program to the crash retrieval slash reverse engineering program that contains way more evidence to a higher degree was under the guise of the name Immaculate Constellation. What? Immaculate Constellation is wow. highly, highly protected. Previous to this, and I'm hoping previous days, um, anyone that even muttered those words was in the spotlight immediately from, uh, we're not gonna mention. <laughs> and, 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 and it was a hot topic word and rarely known for this reason, because if you do not say the exact term of what you're trying to you know, unveil, they could say there's nothing. So uh, quote unquote, Immaculate Constellation, was an un is an unacknowledged special access program, which is the parent program for the UAP crash retrieval reverse engineering. It's wow. a very large database of high quality videos, photos, infrared videos, and much more sophisticated documentation of many more UAP encounters that have been released. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, I, so I have never even heard of this. So holy Lord. Yeah, that's one way they've been getting away with it. I had a feeling they're so savvy in terms of legal. It's it's so interwoven. You know, they'll figure anything out to surpass as legal if that. Um, and like, let's face it, they're they're not really that legal. There's a lot of there's a lot of stuff going on, but um, <laughs> but that's how they could cover up. That's freaking crazy. Um, the whistleblower. Uh, I'm assuming nobody knows who he is. I'm still anonymous at this point. Yeah. You know, so thank God. Um, and thank God they're starting to have a, US, a UFO whistleblower protection program. Yeah, of course. Well, um, they, they, they want to, they, they're trying to figure it out completely right now they're they're like we have something in the works uh they're trying and that's what's so scary and that's why i have a david rush update at the end of this uh because no one has incentive to come forward 
Um, yeah. If anything, they have all incentives to not come forward, which is, you know, which is, which is why it's so, you know, whoever does, it's like, wow, wow. Um, but this was huge. This was a huge, huge uh, terminology mm. that was hidden, very rare to know. And if you looked it up or muttered it or anything, word got around real quick with whoever else knew it and you were shut down immediately. That's, that's, so well, I knew it's not was, everyone that was like, well, why, why is it not? And it was like, cause they know the legal system so well, you know, and we'll get into that at the end of this, exactly why they're hiding it. Um, mm -hmm. Which I'm not necessarily disagreeing with all of it. So we'll get into it. Um, and, you know, you know, but whenever you're ready for the next thing, we can go there. Um, we have a lot to cover, but okay. any more comments is welcome, or we could always go I'm back. Just, I'm just, I, I'm like, ha, with this guy coming forward and saying this, well, I'm guessing, I, I know one thing that you're talking about, might be talking about, uh, but uh, I'll save that for later. But I'm just, I'm just like, yeah, these people are like, we know that there's a quote unquote second government. And I, I, I it makes sense. It makes all the sense in the world that they would, they would have secret code for, you know, all the shenanigans that they know and they do. And, you know, this one being one of the biggest makes all the sense. Now I'm wondering like, this huge one, yeah, they have. I'm sure they have like secret codes for like crazy stuff that we can't even imagine. Yeah, like and who's who's going to guess the name of that correctly? I mean, is it to the point where you get one word, one letter wrong, and like they're just like, oh yeah, Ooh, it looks like you got sad tonight. <laughs> it's like, oh no. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's like, did they, you know, you know, like I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm not even going to go to what I'm thinking about right now. Okay. So moving along. Okay. So actually, you and I both saw this. Luis Elizondo. Uh, so he's been interviewed everywhere recently. He has a new book out called Imminent, which pretty much discloses as much as he can about his time in, uh, was it the Pentagon? Um and, you know, the problem is, and he, he's disclosing as much as he can, but he can only disclose as much as he can. And he's very vocal yeah. about that because um, he doesn't want to get. Well, yeah, he 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 said that he basically doesn't it, because certain things, if he if he lets out, because, you know, I, I don't know. It's, I, I don't know if he's still an active member of the government's of like military personnel I, I, i'm not sure but i don't even know how it works but if he says yeah. something that they don't say is cool he could be charged with like treason not treason and all these you know, different things you know what actually now i take that back i wouldn't be surprised if he still is still is in it because uh stephen greer was actually mentioning who i think is one of the most reliable sources of all of this is that you know, he's mentioning what we already kind of know, which is, um, yeah. you know, a lot of these whistleblowers, they're allowed as much as they are. So that's why they're doing it. But see, it is allowed that much so that the, you know, the demon can control the narrative to some extent or another. Um, sure. And, you know, to, to that degree, um, you know, I understand like consciousness needs to be ready, you know for it i understand on that level um as you know tommy i've done interviews with my good dear friend cynthia c larson an expert on alternate realities where mm -hmm. i've disclosed some of my personal experiences with uh with you know someone called i don't want to call them aliens but you know um she's also disclosed it now this was years ago and i have yet to to put that out i was trying to listen to my intuition when is Whoever's going to listen to mine, when is the right timing for that? Um, you know, there's a lot of people out there that this, they're still adjusting. 
to this kind of information consciously. And, you know, unlike people like, uh, you know, like maybe me, that's, you know, there's many out there too that are just like, all right, come on already, you know? So it's a, it's a whole thing where there's the people that are like, come on already is like, well, well, why aren't they, you know? And then the people that are still adjusting might not even be receptive to this amount, but it's slowly yeah. coming out. So to that degree, I understand. Um, but there's also another part where, you know, unfortunately, the G-Mint, they said things in the past to try to cover things up, probably for this reason, probably because they didn't know what to do about it. So they don't want to invoke fear on the public. And now, how are they going to take that back, you know, saying this didn't happen, this didn't happen, this didn't happen, it comes out that it does, you know, yeah. so... Um, yeah, um, Louise also said in his uh, book and also said in a podcast um, that, yeah, they knew about this, but they, like the whole point of the government is to keep people safe, to make you feel like they're keeping you safe, all right, of that. Right. So since they clearly could not control what's going on with these uh, UFOs, is their whole basis is that let's cover it up, but not only cover it up make it so that it's like taboo to talk about like you're crazy if you talk about you you you're obviously oh you're one of those people they literally did this and put it into society so that anytime anybody brings up you know if they saw one or this or that they're labeled a no yeah yeah and they they do that to such a degree now and how easy is it for, for them to do that with AI right now, social media, everything very covert? Um, that's a really good point, Tommy. Also, yeah. you know, he also mentioned uh, Roswell, um, that people that said they weren't at that meeting, they reason they're saying that, that that, that never happened, that meeting never happened with Roswell, is because you know they would have legal ramifications if they did disclose that they were at such a thing. So that's yeah. exactly it too. Why are people still covering it up? Well, you don't know the ramifications of what they've already signed prior to realizing what they know. I mean, David Grush went against that. Um, and so did a lot of other whistleblowers and poor Grush. I mean, his he's not having fun with this. His personal life took a huge hit. They're still trying to do what hit pieces on him. Um, and I mean, his career hasn't been... No, it's been demolished ever since the poor guy. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, uh, actually, you know what's crazy? Uh, mm -hmm. Literally, um, uh, yesterday, mm -hmm. uh, Thursday, uh, August, not what, what are we in? October. I, I have no idea. October 17th, 18th. I have no idea what day it is. Yeah. It's okay because I, I am not going to post this till like a week or so later, but God. Okay. So, anyway, um, Major General Pat Ryder mm -hmm. was asked during a press conference. He is the press se uh, secretary for uh, the Pentagon. Was asked about, uh, I'm sorry, uh, if aliens had ever visited Earth. Mm -hmm. And he said, we have no evidence or indication that alien life has ever come here and we have never interacted with them. It's like. It's such a slap oh in the face. <laughs> Although he's, he's a senator? No, no. He is a uh, major general. He's the press secretary for the Pentagon. You know, sometimes they choose words to, to they could technically say is true. No, you know, no. either he's not in the know, right? Because there's people that work in the Pentagon that not everyone knows everything, Right. There are people that know this and people that know this and people that know this. And then there's some that don't know anything. And there's some that know a lot, but not everything. I don't think anyone actually knows everything, you know? Um, so, it, you know, he's also legally bound, right? Like, I mean, to, to go over such a thing, even if it is within your realm of rights, right? In your agreement to some extent, is still you're gonna take a hit like you're gonna take a hit to some degree and that's unfortunately kind of still the case right now so you yeah. know you know was he prepared to have his whole life be transformed in one second by saying that 
right? Like that's what you got to think. Because if yeah, he, he say something, he that would have made headlines. You know, that would have made headlines and his whole life would have transformed. I mean, he was probably caught off guard. And he just has to play it safe. When you're in the public eye and you're caught off guard, you just have to go with whatever is your, you know, how many people actually did say that and then went back on it? Actually, there's that a- true. There's true, yeah. So- That is very true, actually. I'm just picturing this. It's like completely different than what we think, where it's like, maybe he doesn't know. Meanwhile, he just goes into the next room. He looks at a little alien and he goes, you did good, General. And he's like, thank you, Glip Clop. You want finger? Yes, Glip Clop. <laughs> I can't do that. No, can't do that on YouTube. Okay. All right. We got no, no, no. We don't That's know how to edit aliens. yet. We it can't. means something else for aliens. Okay. Um, something like a human. All right, so we're moving on because but it's like yeah, it's it's, it's it's maybe you're right. Maybe he didn't know. Maybe he's tied. Most likely he's tied, and he knows a little something. Like everybody knows a little something. And probably he's knows like, through, through hearsay like, of reliable. Probably knows through hearsay of reliable sources, but he's gonna throw his whole career down, even if he did know. Right? Like Not you gotta be career. you gotta be prepared for that. You got to be yeah. prepared. You got to be A lot of these guys, a lot of these guys are like not just the military, but they have families and everything. And yeah, maybe their military career might be destroyed, but it's not that their only thing they're worried about. They're like, what will happen? What's going to happen? What are they going to do? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, that makes sense. Um yeah, but an army colonel uh Carl Nell who who has been coming out. He's an, he's an ex military um says not only do they exist but they have been on earth and have been interacting still are with uh humanity so they've been he didn't elaborate but basically it's it's like you could pretty pick you could pretty much picture what he's trying to say he's either like you know how these people are like being abducted or or you know stuff is getting tested on or people are showing up at burns and stuff you it could be literally anything it could be literally mm -hmm. anything them just coming up to somebody while they're sleeping and touching them in the face is still interacting so and again so that's fascinating great piece of information tommy um again guys we're not saying this is on purpose by these you know i don't know what to call them i feel like alien such an insult you know uh, you know, even I never thought these things were on purpose. Um, and thank God, Luis, you know, Alejandro, Elizondo, okay. Um, he, he even pointed out, you know, what I've always been saying, which is, you know, there's things that happen by default. Um, you know, if, if you go near a piece of technology right now, that's very powerful, you could get damaged. Did the technology do that to you on purpose? Right. So it could be, you know, it, you know, we don't know motives and we don't want We're not here to spread any fear. If I thought this was only fear that would happen or have any inkling, I don't think I'd be posting it. I'm doing this for people that want to expand their consciousness. And that's curious about uh, the world. So anyway, um, yeah, no, fascinating. And, you know, speaking of senators and, and government officials that are kind of coming out with it, you know, um, Obama actually was the first that started to say something, but then they're shielded. They're not allowed. And in fact, they're not even privy to a lot of that information. Um, and, you know, I guess we can't really get political, but Senator Rubio, uh, and, you know, I'm, I'm not pro one way or the other because we know there's somebody on the other side now doing the same thing. But also Senator Rubio also came out and, and has been standing for this as well. So, again, you have to be prepared. You have to be prepared financially. You know, you have to be prepared in many ways that who knows what's going to happen after you say such thing. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised that the a lot of presidents don't know about it because let's face facts. Uh, a lot of, in reality, the president is just like like a celebrity to, to put yeah. in front of the people so that they could be like, oh, look, they're 
semi in charge. But I think all these other factions are basically what run the country. And they're like, okay, as long as he doesn't rock the boat too badly, let him sit out there or shake hands. Yeah. You know, I think uh, also, um, you know, do you remember the whole JFK thing? Um, and then there's a whole thing about why Marilyn Monroe got killed and why JFK got killed due to information that he knew. You do ever hear about that? I think, I don't know about the Marilyn Monroe thing. I thought that was just because she was like, all right, this guy, this, she's got to go. Yeah, she's but there's go. a reason though. There's a reason. Okay. And I'm not saying any of this is true, guys, but this is what, this is what's been speculated. Um, you don't just say this chick's annoying and, and do that. Okay. Nobody, I hope nobody does that. It was, it was a heavier uh, <laughs> content. Uh, supposedly she knew things, you know, during their pillow talks. Meaning, oh, oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. And then because she was so heartbroken and, you know, you got to remember, she was kind of thrust into stardom. Is anyone really prepared for it? I think she was young when she was thrust into it. So was her, you know, when you're heartbroken and you didn't have enough time to develop and stuff like that, you know, she she probably started threatening anything, unfortunately, about how to, you know, get his respect or, respect or attention back. Just to feel like she's in control again. And that's where he's like, probably, I hate to say it, but either him or people around him were like, it's either my life or hers, you know? And I hate yeah. that that was ever a question and what he chosen. Hey, I'm not saying any of this is true. This is what I'm just sharing. Okay. But anyway, so that's, uh, that's, that's one theory is what I'll call it. Um, I mean, that it makes sense. It like people's people chat while they're chilling in bed after, you know, having a good time. Yeah. Uh, so. so yeah, that makes sense. Maybe he was like, "Hey, you know, uh, I, I meet Click Lop. He's gonna join us tonight." I mean, I doubt it's that. <laughs> I doubt it's that crazy. But you know, <laughs> um, but but either way, you know, that's why a lot of people that work in certain fields are sworn to secrecy, and some get leaked anyway to family. That's either a, a son or a grandson, and it's sworn to secrecy in that family. But maybe it gets around the neighborhood or whatever, and. You know, th those are what we're kind of hearing. Um, yeah. So also, I was going to have a whole separate thing about this, but we're going to just include it all in now. <laughs> Two things in the news regarding uh, space and life out there. Okay, I'm going to start with the least interesting one and then the more interesting one. There's okay. nothing least interesting about space. Space is well, awesome. They are now going to Mars and they are trying to see, they're thinking life might be, in the ice or something right that's yeah but that's microscopic ice, uh, life yeah um you know i don't know you know they could still be trying to ease us into that by saying that we could be assuming that um i assumed that at first too um and then there's another story that i'm going to say something about both these stories so there's another story where they're actually Go, they just launched to go on a five-year trip to yeah. another moon. Oh, yeah, that's the... Are you talking about the Jupiter one? Because they feel that maybe life can be sustained here, but they're not going to touch it. They're not going to... They're not going to make a landing. They're just going to mm -hmm. go there after five years of getting there and come back. Uh, yeah. Are you talking about uh, when NASA launched a uh, Europa yeah. Clipper? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So they're they're flying to uh, one of Jupiter, well, a bunch of Jupiter's moons, because it is thought that they have water, and uh, they want to see what's what. They want to just check it out. You know, you, know, you never know what's there. Okay, and I like I like obviously I have this channel for a reason. I like expanding consciousness and exploring, but here's where I'm confused. There's people that are experts in the GMINT saying we they've been here, we've been interacting, right? Mm -hmm. And then there's this where we're pouring billions of dollars to go somewhere for five years to look at a planet, maybe life, and then come back. 
or to go to Mars and be like, cells in ice. It's like, but what's, what is that about? Because if they already know that like things are coming in and out, right. And like, we're oh. like, yeah. Yeah. That's what I, I wonder at sometimes, but then I, I realize, think about this. We have what resources we have on earth. Mm -hmm. um, the universe is vast. So what if they're like, whoops, we stumbled upon freaking a world filled with gold or diamonds no, or oil I, you know, or so, what whatever it, the hell else. You know what it really is? You know what it really is? They don't really give that much shit about little cells in ice or 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 five years to see, could there be? I'm telling you what's really going on. If they're doing this and if the billions of dollars are going towards this, which I don't think it all is, I think there's a lot of account balances missing, but whatever. Um, I'm telling you what it is. They're like, the, t the time on earth, almost done. Let's search where where we're going next. I, I think that's what it really yep. is. If there's any truth to it, which obviously- But don't, do you, think, don't you think that like the, the, the powers that be, the people that- are in to know about what's going on already have a place that they know about that's like yeah life can be cool there meanwhile they're like to the general public oh you never know we gotta keep looking blah 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 meanwhile they have a perfect like launch station that like as soon as like shit really hits the fan they just get on their ship and go directly to their new home and they're like, whoops, <laughs> this this place just happened to be here. <laughs> I don't I don't think so. Um, I do know they have it on Earth, on Earth, you know, on Earth. Yeah, they have a bunch of them. There's bunkers everywhere. I know we've covered that. If you guys want to see, we've covered all the underground bunkers to a very yep. deep extent. <laughs> so check that out. But um, yeah, yeah, I don't think it's that extensive yet. Um, I think that's why they're building all these bunkers here. Uh, I think they're searching for it now, though, and I think that's why. Yeah, I, I mean, and you know that they know, even if they do find, you know, dudes hanging out there on the on the, on the planet, they're like, "Oh, we, we, we found, we just found some some ice, nothing else, just ice." Nothing else. Thanks for your tax dollars. Mm -hmm. We're going to launch another one to the same place to collect that ice. Whatever. Yeah. And nothing else. And what yeah, what <laughs> happened to that whole thing where people were going to go live on Mars? Remember that? Oh, it's still go. I mean, they're still trying to pull that one off. It's just, it's logistically, it's, it's a nightmare. It's like... Oh. How do you pick those people? How do you get the equi equipment there? How long is, well, they know how long the flight's going to be. Safety reasons, all this stuff. It's just so much. I, that's something that they want to accomplish. I, I think it was 15 years, 10, 15 years. So um, uh, it's it just, it's a lot. It's a lot because not only do they yeah you got the astronauts that are going to fly and everything but you need people that can do things you need mechanics you need electricians you need plumbers you need all these like construction type things and how do you get it there safely and with the knowledge that this trip is going to last a couple of years just to get there how do you also, keep yeah. these people sane? Yeah, I also wonder. Um, that's all those are good points. But I also wonder. You know the people that like signed up. I wonder what if they signed up when like they were in one state, like of being, like yep. you know, this guy was like single and whatever and whatever, whatever. But then in like fifteen years, he like has a family, <laughs> and like <laughs> wants to stay here. Like, I wonder how that works. Or he's like, I am very ready to go. I am super ready. I'm just going to be like, hey, I'm going to go head out to uh, work. Um, be back. 
<laughs> then they skip on the nudes. Like, I mean, I wanted to go. I've when actually... I heard about it, I wanted to go. Yeah. So it's 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 it sounds cool, but it's like one of those things where you just first get there and it's like, oh my god, oh I would rather go after like 15, 20 years of it being up and running. That way I could feel you could feel more comfortable and mm -hmm. you're not just like, oh god, an air pocket it, it freaking disappeared. Oh god, we're all gonna die. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. when it's a resort. Then yeah, sign me up. When it's like very comfortable for human living, then I will absolutely love to just visit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's that's interesting. We'll we'll talk more about this. Um, just so you guys know, update on Congress. Uh, so believe it or not, Congress preps for new UFO UAP hearings after the election. Yeah, in November. Sounds good. Sounds good. I think something's weird about that, but okay. Um, <laughs> no, 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 it's good. It's good. It's very good. Why not now? <clears throat> oh, because they're 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 gearing up to see what the heck's gonna happen. Why would that impact it without getting it will, it, it will impact it. It will impact it quite a bit. What uh, really both party both both parties have all their members, you know, it's like we're working on something here right now. So oh, put everything else yeah. on the back burner. Right. Yeah, got it. Got it. Okay, guys, reliable sources. So as Tommy already knows, uh, prior to that Netflix UFO special, which we actually did cover and forgot to post, but um, yeah. like a decade <laughs> prior to the UFO uh, Netflix docuseries, I actually met many of the people on there personally. So I could say that those people are reliable sources. Um, my favorite are, oh, the James Fox documentary. We, okay, so James Fox has a new documentary out called The Program. Now, Tommy, I don't know if you remember, we actually saw his previous documentary. I'm trying to remember what it was called. We did, I think, cover it. It was, I think it was mostly about Peru. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I didn't know that guy's name. I forgot that guy's name. Yeah, yeah. It's been a while, people. Bear with us. Yeah, we, yeah, I have stitches right now. <laughs> I've been through a lot medically. Tommy managed to drive a U-Haul. Uh, we many, many, many miles. Many miles. We went from New York to Charleston, and um, yep. basically the whole time the U-Haul screamed at us. We yep. should have documented this, but <laughs> I don't know. We don't Honestly, think. We don't think in a minute. We're like, mom. To be honest, we don't have enough storage technology-wise. I'm still deleting photos and videos of things I never got to post just to like function my phone, okay? Because I don't know how, but on an invisible cloud, I'm running out of space. But whatever, whatever, we could move on. Um, you know, tell me how that makes sense. But yeah, okay, so yeah, so he has a new documentary, I cannot wait, it's called The Program. Obviously, okay. covering Greer, it's um, not Greer, not covering Greer. It's, well, maybe. It's mostly covering Grush, the whistleblowers, and why everything is the way it is. Um, oh, cool. That's cool. I didn't, I didn't know about that. That's going to be nice to watch. Yeah, and we're going to cover it, guys. So in case you don't have the time or the, it probably will cost money. Money to get it, don't worry. We seem to bite the bullet when it comes to things like this for the sake of you guys. Um, even though we are very good at saving money in other areas. So uh, we will cover the key points of that and mm -hmm. let you know here. So stay tuned. Um, so yeah, Stephen Greer, I feel, is one of the most reliable sources. Uh, however, some are speculating, how is he okay? Like how is that, he That's, not yeah, yeah. Because if, if Luis Alas uh, Alessandro mm -hmm. is saying that well, maybe he's not allowed to say it all, but he's saying that, you know, we don't know, we can't re replicate these things, blah, 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 blah. But on the other side, Stephen Greer is saying that we are absolutely replicating uh, replicating them, and they're not actually aliens, they're uh, military craft. It's okay, like, remember, what's... Stephen uh, Greer, he says both. He says these, he's like, for anyone that's worried if these are military craft, these are the ones that are military. Correct. 
For those that are wondering if, if some are alien craft, these are alien craft. He's okay, very okay. good at discerning between the two of them and why it was kept secret the whole time, which is the whole basis of his documentary. Uh, wasn't it called uh, The Lost Century and How to Reclaim It? Narrative yes. by Fred Durst. We also yes. covered that, guys. If you don't have the money or the time, check out our video on that. It covers everything. Um, we need to keep saying narrated by Fred Durst. Nobody cares about that part. <laughs> I'm glad he narrated it because it will weave some people in that maybe weren't necessarily open to such information before. So I think he's an amazing role model for um, expanding the consciousness of others. You know, I mean, I just wish I don't have a problem with him at all. In fact, I, I just wish he did it more like for doing it. Hmm? I wish he did it more like Fred Durst of of, of, of Biscuit. He'd be like, "You ready for some aliens?" Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well. There's a lot of uh, people that, that I just feel like so much similarities with, like he was one way and now he's this way. And like, I get it. You know what I mean? Like same with, um, there was this comedian, Kyle Cease, same thing. Also your guy from the office. Oh, 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 oh why am I right? God, it's been so long. Yeah. The guy that played Dwight, what's his real name? John C. Uh, something? Just no, guys. Uh, that is the guy that played Joint. And uh, <laughs> I just don't know his real name. Um, it's fine, neither do I. I just I just know him from the field now because he's entered my arena. But um, okay, so speaking of, I have to do a little plug here. Uh, Cynthia C. Larson, IMAC, the International Mandela Conference, uh, is happening very soon in November in Nashville. I went mm -hmm. last year. It was amazing. They have it all uh, on their sites, uh, all the tapings. And they, you know, me and Cynthia had a blast. So did, uh, you know, me, her and her partner and a lot of friends we met. And, uh, you know, it was it was amazing. It's so easy to make them laugh, too. So uh, actually, I was supposed to speak this year. Um, but due to the move, that was pretty big for Tommy and I just doing it by ourselves. Um, but thank you to his friends, if any of them are watching, for helping us get out of New York. Um, but uh, yeah, I knew this was going to be a huge move. I intuitively just didn't want to take that slot in case um, anybody else really wanted that slot uh, to speak. So, um, you know, and I was, I was, I was also intuitively right because I've been through one medical thing after another uh, each week I've been here and thank God Tommy's been there to help me. And uh, yeah, it's been, it's been nuts. And uh, so, yeah, you guys got to check it out. It's in Nashville this year. Maybe I'll zoom in who knows, uh, but yeah, they will be posting it on their YouTube iMac. Um, and of course uh, the key players will all be there. Uh, and Cynthia Sue Larson, who's a dear friend of mine, and uh, alternate reality expert and very, very accredited smart woman. Also, if you guys are interested in knowing more about her or anything like that, I've had many, many interviews with her uh, that I have yet to post, but I have a few posted on my Facebook. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm not even on Facebook, YouTube. So just, just Google uh, or YouTube Soul Spy University and Cynthia Sue Larson and they will come up. Yes. Okay, so uh, to wrap this up, um, should we put a little, end it on a lighter note, but not so late. Um, in recent events, Bed Bath & Body Works, I don't know if you guys have heard about that. Uh, not doing well with that uh, that newest, newest candle that came out that I don't even want to name, but- uh, Oh God. How, how did they get that wrong? <laughs> how did they get that so wrong? Should I, you know what? I'm not even going to say, I'm not going to say uh, <laughs> what they're calling it. What I will do, what I will do is look up the picture and I will show the audience and they can figure out for themselves. All I have to do is Google one word and it'll pop up what's, what's going on. Okay. I mean, ABC seven's covering it. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> this is supposedly their new holiday candle. It's called snowed in. Everybody look at the screen. And there we have it, folks. Bed, Bath, and Beyond. How? How? Wait. How did you let that slip? 
Wait, snowed in? That was supposed to be for Christmas? Oh, I see. I see. It's supposed to be a a a a, a snowflake that zoomed in, but it's like, oh, come on, come on, people. I mean, come that's on. that's cool. That's that's that. So, somebody was like, really like an ass, and he's like, oh, uh, I got a design. Oh my! And it's God. like, dude. Oh my! Yeah. God. Like I, I hope they fired that dude. Oh my God! You know, I what I was in a bar at LBI, and they had these white pointy cups like covering the uh, the alcohol, and I took a picture and was like, something's different lately. That's a stretch, maybe. That's a stretch. That how how did that get through? Like that that's it's not just one person like it had to get through people unless it was something like also you the like, names is a little bit i don't know suggestive too well unless like with the with the higher up soar was like a smaller version where it's actually just the snowflake it's mostly the snowflake and those are just kind of like in the edges and mm -hmm. then and then when they actually printed them out someone ex expanded it to just that point just to be like ha, check this out and check this out and he's like why am i getting fun i don't know why i'm getting fun i don't understand what's worse is like the background there's no green it's just red and then even in between oh god this is just all right goodbye to that yeah that, that seems like a like a real jackass that was just like Okay, stop cursing. You know I don't know how this works with YouTube. We don't have a we don't have a rumble oh, yet. You could say you no no you could say uh, things now. You they are, they've, been, they've been more lenient. Um, yeah, but think about we're, we're having too much against us now with the with the content and that. You get what I mean? If we were talking about home goods, we should be talking that. about home goods. Home goods is a fantastic store. Hey, home goods. Why oh, don't no, you go I ahead and general the general adjective of home goods, which oh. by the way, guys, stay tuned because January I will be posting on our second channel, Cottage Comedy Barn, which is all about home goods and how to save your energy, time, space, money through small comedic clips. Um, yeah, that seems like someone that was just like they hired some like kid and he was just like one of those bros, and he's like, <laughs> watch this. This is you think, I mean, it's got to be on purpose, right? Absolutely, absolutely. I thought, I no thought let me see this. It's got maybe to stretch. I thought, I got to see this. And then when I remember when I pulled it up, I was like, oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There, there's no way this was not purposeful. They, I like I said, I they probably showed somebody what it looked like, you know, shrunk down. And it was an actual snowflake. And it was probably like the actual snowflake version is probably like all these designs and like whatever, making it look like an actual, like an amazing snowflake. And those were just the outside edges. But then some kid was like, um. Yeah, you're right. It's probably like, um, it was probably, um, it was probably a um, small. Hey, Greg, Greg, come here. Greg, come here. Greg, check this out. <laughs> we should we, we should yeah we'll do it <laughs> oh my god well, yeah you're probably oh, no i hope not i hope greg was like stop it and punched him out but then unfortunately greg still accidentally pushed it through for some reason well anyway so it probably was a small little thing on like a, tr a tree with a sky like a green tree a sky like it was probably you're right you're right. That's exactly what happened. Anyway, we're going to wrap up for the sake of you guys' time now. <laughs> and uh, and stay tuned for the next because we have AI updates that you're not going to want to miss. And we have done a ton of research to, as usual, put it all in one short video or as short as we can do it for you because we're doing a lot of resources here in one uh, sitting. So, yeah, uh, please don't forget if you enjoy us at all to like um, so that maybe we could pop up again on your feed and it would support us with our, uh, you know, this kind of content, uh, which helps a lot. 
um, share would be phenomenal to keep our our content afloat or channel surviving above this crazy water of YouTube at all. And um, subscribe to be a part of our family so that we don't disappear on you forever. And uh, yeah, any donation is really, really welcome here. Uh, it illuminates my heart from the inside out. And it feels so great to know that someone somewhere is listening. And until next time, guys, namaste. Bye, guys.